Dozens of passengers were thrown from their seats when a car crashed into a tram at Kew, sending it off the rails and through the front fence of a property. Seven people were taken to hospital, including two who had to be cut from the wreckage of the car. A quiet Sunday morning shattered. I was just sitting in my lounge room, uh, heard like a massive crash, it sounded like somebody's kitchen just fallen apart. Michael Munson ran straight into his front yard and was confronted with scenes of panic and chaos. And then the trams just derailed and coming through the front wall there. The tram, packed with more than two dozen passengers, smashed through his front fence. Logan Changavi was on board playing a video game at the time of the accident. All of a sudden the glass shattered and there was a big bang and I fell over we all, and he fell on top of me. His family was thrown out of their seats and found themselves on the floor of the carriage. The tram driver came out and he was like, did somebody call the ambulance? Is everybody OK? And I realised that I had a blood nose. Passengers say this white car drove up on the inside lane and appeared to be trying to overtake when instead it smashed into a road maintenance vehicle and then slammed into the side of the tram, forcing it to derail and sending it hurtling through the fence. We don't see it every day. It, it looks quite impressive with uh, such a large tram through the front fence of a house. Emergency services were forced to cut power to the area and close part of Cotham Road for hours as tram passengers were treated by paramedics and five were taken to hospital. Trapped inside the car, a 74-year-old male driver and his 69-year-old wife who had to be cut free from the wreckage. It's amazing that no one's been seriously injured. The investigation into exactly what caused this crash is only just beginning, but it has prompted a reminder from authorities to always be vigilant behind the wheel and not take unnecessary risks. It's a bit of a shock, for sure. It's not something that happens every day. But, um, yeah, I'm just glad that everyone, for the most part, seems to be OK. Christy Mayer joins us now with the latest on the investigation. And, Christy, what more do we know? Mitch, luckily everyone involved in this accident today is recovering fairly well. No one sustained any major injuries. It was mainly cuts and bruises and shock. It took authorities most of the afternoon to get the tram back on the rails and then back to the depot in queue. They're not sure how long the full investigation will take from here, but police have confirmed this crash was caused by the white car involved. Mitch.